Stop chasing your manifestation and allow it to come to you. This is like a very common roadblock I've seen. A lot of times people feel that they have, they're on their path to manifesting it, but at the same time they are unconsciously, maybe not really consciously, sometimes consciously and sometimes unconsciously, they're constantly chasing their manifestation and that is actually causing the manifestation to get delayed or sometimes even get derailed. So my name is Rohit and I've been studying about Law of Attraction and Manifestation for years now and my goal with this channel is to help people really expand their awareness, see the potential they have of creating that dream reality, that dream job, that dream career or dream life that they want. And I want to make it simple, easy to understand so everyone can manifest their desires. So very simply, this is a very simple example I will tell you about how this person was not allowing their manifestations to come through. And this is from a Facebook group. And from there, I've seen the story again and again. But I will give you this very example. For privacy sake, I'm not going to use their name. So let's say this person is Alex. Okay, Alex has been working part-time in a certain job. He has been working part-time at a certain job. He, he's a very qualified, intelligent guy. He's been working part-time in a certain job. But he wants to make a little bit more money for the next six months. He has some personal things he needs to take care of. So he wants to pay off that debt he has or something. So he wants to create an extra part-time job. But he doesn't want to learn new skills. So he wants a part-time job, which is very similar to what he currently has. So he can make some extra money, which he can use for whatever reasons he needs to. And that was his goal and desire. So before he didn't used to believe in manifesting and then he said he eventually reached out to me and uh, my friends also told me about this that you know Ruth has been doing manifesting and studying and talking about it. so he reached out to me and I helped him out. So I told him how long have you been looking for that job and he's like it's been three months right. Um, I mean in three months I could have learned another skill maybe take an another kind of part-time job, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to learn two different skills. I just want to stay in my lane and just learn this skill and do that. So I'm like, great. So have you ever tried manifesting? He's like, yes, I've uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos. So I did the scripting, I wrote it down and uh, like uh, my desire is already here and all that. And uh, I've uh, done it and I've let it go. And then what else are you doing in like any other imaginal acts is like, no, I'm not really done visualization. I, I'm not very good with it. And other techniques like in a conversation, I, I didn't even know about those techniques. So I don't know how to reuse them properly. I just read about scripting and I did that multiple times. So I'm like, okay, that's great. That's a great start. So how long have you been scripting? Uh, and he said, oh, I've been scripting every day for the past three months. I'm like, that is the problem. That is where the problem is you are not really letting your manifestations come to you. You are still obsessing about it. You're still doing it. So you, what you need to do is first, always in a relaxed state, try to get relaxed, try to take, take, take some deep breaths, maybe, or listen to some meditation me music. There are so many things you can do. You can listen to meditation music. I have a, I use an app called Calm, which has a music of the waves coming in and I do, do deep breaths with the waves. It's amazing, it really relaxes me, takes me into the calm space. You can just find videos about like uh, sounds of nature, meditation, whatever. It, you need something to relax. It might take 30 seconds, it might take a minute, it might take even five minutes, but it's very important to relax yourself and then do your scripting and then do your imaginal acts and whatever. Okay, so first thing that. So he, he got that concept and then he started doing it. He did that and eventually he dropped it. He said he stopped doing scripting he did it for like two, three weeks and he felt this saturation and he dropped it. And then he still was telling me, my desire is not here yet. My, why is my job not coming? I'm like, it's just been two weeks. Every seed has its own time, right? So don't rush, don't handle over it. And, he, and one day he messaged me, okay, I finally let it go and my desire will come to you, me. Okay, and I said, okay, great. So you're allowing your desire to come to you. That is great, excellent. But then again, what he was doing, he was constantly thinking about it, even though he's scrapped scripting, he's constantly thinking about it and he's, he's trying to reach out people on, like people on LinkedIn, trying to send like 10 resumes every day to recruiters and all these people and doing all these things. 
and uh, he's like wasting a lot of time and that is coming from a place where he feels like the desire is not here yet so you can take these actions but it shouldn't come from a place where the desire is not here yet it's not it's not coming from a place of lack okay it's coming from a place of my desire is already here yet and this is this is one of the actions which will just bring my desire to me okay but he doesn't have any you know come any kind of like desperation attached to one desire or one email or one job application or one that right that's what the state he should be in but he was in the opposite even though he stopped scripting even though he stopped uh, visualizing and all that he wasn't really letting go so when you're not really letting go you are actually not really letting the desire go into your subconscious mind and let it manifest into the 3d world you're still holding on to the desire and that is what is calling your desire to just evade you it's like you have to let it go once you have impressed properly then you have to let it go and only by properly letting go can you take shape of this and then what happened he tried all these things and eventually he's like okay this manifesting thing it doesn't work i give up um okay i'm just uh, gonna it's okay it will take me longer make some more money i will just ask my people at my work to give me some more hours and i will take something some other job he completely gave up so he got frustrated with manifesting and he gave up i've been there i've done that too i when i didn't know how to properly drop i would do something do it for a really long time get frustrated and then just see things say like this manifesting doesn't work and when I say that, that is when I have truly dropped the scene. That is where the magic happens, right? So he told me it doesn't work and it's funny. When I look back at it, said it doesn't work, uh, whatever. And then he messages me, like not even, not even a week has been passed. And he's like, you wouldn't believe what happened. I got the job. I got the job in exactly the kind of job I was looking for, very close to it, not exactly perfect fit, but very good. And in the same field, in the same role that I currently have. And he said, could you tell me what happened, right? I, I knew in, in my mind's eye because I had already impressed that he would get the job. So I kind of did the manifesting for him. So I knew that he was going to get it. But I was just still curious, you know, how the bridge of incidents unfolded, what happened. So he said, he went to a grocery store or supermarket. I can't remember exactly. I think he said he went to a grocery store and uh, one of his friend's acquaintance, they bumped into him into the grocery store and they said, hey, Alex, uh, don't you work in this field? And Alex like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, okay, actually we are looking for someone who might be, you know, interested in this role, but we are looking just for someone, not full-time position, but a part-time, would you be, would you know anyone or would you be interested in that position? Because your friend spoke very highly of you. So I was just curious. And I was thinking about, you know, posting about this job position, but I wasn't so sure. I thought people would just, wouldn't want it part-time. They would only want it full-time position. So, but uh, I bumped into you and I thought, why not? And Alex was like, his jaw just dropped. Like, like there was like a jaw drop. And he was like, uh, yeah, he was a little bit lost for words for a while. And he said like, how that manifestation came to him. And he's like, okay, um, great you can send me an, this is my email you can send me an email um or this is i can take your email and i will send you my resume and uh, let's go on with it and he sent the resume immediately like within two days his interview was set up he knew he was gonna ace the interview he aced it and he got the offer okay so very simply so he was doing all the scripting visualization all he wasn't dropping the seat that's number one mistake number two even though he stopped doing the visualization acts he had this thread going from his subconscious mind and still attached to his desire, like still kind of attached. Like we can say, I don't have attachments, but when you're truly living in the end, when you know it is done, that is when all these things are just gone. Like there is not there. And when he got really frustrated with manifesting and he said, this thing doesn't work. That was the point when he truly dropped it. Right. And then did sending his resume help them? Did reaching out to people on LinkedIn help them? No, a, be, a person randomly bumps into him, offers him a job position out of the blue. Okay, think about how the universe works, how manifesting works. We don't know how it works. That's why controlling the how will only derail or delay your manifestations. So go straight to the end and you believe and you know 
And from that place, you can send resumes and you can contact people on LinkedIn because you already know your desires already here and you are going to get it. So that is what we need to do. So have you truly let go? Are you allowing your manifestations to come through? This is the same thing which happens with people manifesting a person or a kind of lover they want or uh, getting married. They are constantly obsessing about it, even though they stop doing the imaginal acts, visualization, manifesting, scripting, whatever. But they're constantly obsessed about it or they're thinking at the back of the mind. They have not really let go. When you have really let go, you know that it is done. And uh, not, whatever happens in the 3D world, you don't really, it doesn't even bother you. Like you might enjoy it. You might like see some small reactions and you might feel a little bit of emotions. That's okay. But deep down within, you know that it is done. So that is how you really must let go and allow your manifestations to come to you because you're constantly obsessing about it. If you're constantly scripting, constantly doing this imaginal acts, you have to let go. And that's why I think we should have multiple desires in our life. If you're just constantly obsessed about just one desire, it is very hard to manifest that, right? Because you're not really dropping it, right? So I really recommend people who are into manifesting, have some hobbies, right? Do some hobbies like painting, music, arts, anything which which really absorbs you. So you kind of forget about your reality, you know, your 3D reality. That really helps you. So I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to this channel and like and share this content if you like. And if you've had this experience like this where you were not really allowing your manifestations to come through, not really dropping them, uh, feel free to share it. I would love to know your thoughts and I wish you great success with your manifesting journey. Until then, take care.